And it made me realize I don't care anymore what anybody got to say. I'm going to do me. I'm going to do me. Okay, guys, so imagine being so unbothered to the point that when people try to get at you, you don't care. You don't react. You don't feel the need. You don't care. It's not affecting you because you're unbothered. If, uh, imagine you having that it is what it is mentality that you use your failures as a motivation. Oh, this video didn't go viral. It's okay. I'll do better next time. Oh, I failed the test. It's okay. I'll do better next time. You know what I'm saying? Imagine that. Imagine being so powerful that everything that is going wrong around you is not affecting you but is motivating you to do better. Imagine having that power that no one, nothing like, there is a quote that say, he who cares less win. Imagine not caring at all. Like, you just like, I don't care. Imagine that. There is power in being on board. I used to be the type of person that cared a lot. I cared so much. But the moment I decided to prioritize myself, you know, my happiness to protect my energy, oh Lord, all that shifted. I became the happiest girl in the world. Like right now, every little thing that comes, because I'm like, oh, it's okay. You know, I, I just smile. I take everything. Just I just smile. Like, you're not, under, you're not gonna understand if you know me. You'll be like, what she's like laughing. This is so serious. I'm laughing because it is what it is. What do you want me to do about it? It is what it is. Even in dating, you know, when you're dating someone, right? If you have that mentality, you on board, right? And you have that it is what it is mentality, you're not even going to chase the person. And you're going to master the attachments. Like, I care about you, but it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? Like, even if we don't work out, it is what it is. I'll move on. You cannot go wrong. Because things that come to really bring you down will actually motivate you. You, you literally actually go Take use it as a strength, you know what I'm saying? So having that mentality, hmm, hmm. think about the times that you really reacted because of your emotions. Like sometimes when we angry, we overreact or you do things and later you regret it. Yes, this is why it's very important to learn to control everything. I came, I learned how to control my emotion actually so late, you know. When I was reading this book, The, the Power of the Pussy by uh, Kara King, I really had a review of it. So good, this book is so good. There was a part of it when she was talking about how to control your emotion, even though it was about dating. I actually use it in my whole life, you know, my in my life, and I applied it in my life. And it's just like... I'm not that, like, I'm not there yet. I still do react a little bit sometimes because I care. But I'm saying that to say this. When you control your emotions, right, and, you know, let's say something happened and someone make you angry or whatever, instead of reacting right away, take a step back, you know. Take a deep breath before you react. Think about it. So most of the time, you know, when you take a deep breath and you take, like, you slow down before reacting or you give it some time, we don't even react no more. You just like, I don't know. No matter what they do to you, you're just going to be like, it is what it is. I can't control it. I will let me, I always say, give it to Baba. Like, if you pray, I just give it to God, you know. I don't react to it. I give it to God. That's it. I don't have power. I don't have control over this. God will help me do it. I surrender. That's what I tell myself. I surrender to you, Lord. I always pray that. I surrender. Yes. I don't have any power over this. That's how you need to be. And also prioritize your peace of mind. Like, my peace of mind. I matter. I matter, like, do is me. I my, my life, my peace of mind matter. Keep telling yourself that. Prioritize your peace of mind, honestly. Don't let it get to you. Be like, I choose me. Always choose yourself. Choose you. Okay, so one thing that will really help you also to be on border is not trying to control situations or forcing things. Yes, sometimes it's okay to just let it be let it be don't force anything don't force situations don't force relations just have that it is what it is mentality like you can't force anything right don't force it like me for instance like when i'm going to work right and i know okay i'm running late i can't make it instead of me driving and get a ticket that i can't afford i'm not gonna pay no ticket no 
I'm not. I already just, okay, I'm late. I can't make it on time, right? Let me prioritize my life by not speeding and just turn on Buna Boy and listen to Baby Travail, you know? <laughs> or I can turn on a podcast or something. Depends on my mood that morning, but usually it's going to be Buna Boy when I'm going to work, okay? So let me just turn the music on and then just go there in the positive vibe, you know? It is what it is. I'm already late. What do you want me to do? I'm late. Okay, I'll get there, but yeah, I can't afford a ticket. So, don't try to control like things. Just see the bright side of it and then just, you know, do something else. Okay, I can't do it. I'll do this. Try to find something good in every bad situation. Don't force anything. Don't try to control anything. Just let it be. Don't control. Don't try to force any relationship to, like, you know how, like, when you like someone, you want to, no. Don't let it be. It is what it is. If you meant to be mine, you'll be mine. If you're not, then we're not supposed to be together, baby boy. You know what I'm saying? So don't force anything. Don't force no vibe, nothing. That's the only way you can be unbothered, okay? Also, working on yourself and your self-esteem will make you so be so unbothered, you know? Because it's not going to affect you. Like, I've already said it, right? He who can at least win. You don't care, no matter what. You don't take it personal. Things that are happening around you, you don't take them personal because you work on yourself. You know it's not it's not me, it's you. That's it. <laughs> you work on yourself, have a deep work done, you know. It's gonna help you be unbothered, have, having like that it is what it is mentality. You're not trying to control anything, you know. It is, working on yourself is good, you know your worth. So you just like, it's not me, it's you, that's it. It is what it is. Work on yourself, on yourself for Steve, okay? Okay, so that was it for this video. I hope you really enjoy it. If yes, please give me a favor and give it a thumbs up. And if you're new here, you're not subscribed to my channel yet. I don't know what you're waiting for, but yeah. Subscribe to my channel and turn off your post notifications so you can be alert every time I post a video. I love you. Thank you so much for watching.